Okay, uh, we're going to continue our Google Draw, and uh, we're going to move into like a part two. Obviously, uh, we finished this one up here with uh, part one in an earlier session. Uh, what we're going to go over in this session here is uh, uh, arranging our objects, so sending objects to the back, bringing them to the front, uh, making some of our colors transparent, things such as that. So let's, uh, let's just continue here with our um, structure that we started building already. Uh, what I'd like to do here, I'm going to, let's say, create a window. All right, so I'm going to get a shape here. I'm going to grab a rectangle here. I'm just going to create a window. All right, there we go. Now, guys, we're just going to move through the window process and see you know, how much better we can make one. We obviously could see if I uh, just place a little color here. All right. So here we, could, uh, here we go. We can see that this looks like or represents a window style. So let's uh, copy this. I'm going to paste it. And let's see how we can make this better. The one way we could do it, we could maybe add a thicker frame around the window and maybe put some crossbars on it. So let's give that a try. So I'm maybe make that like a four point. And then I'm going to add some crossbars. So I'm going to put some lines on here. I'm just going to match them up to my circles. Another line on here. And there we go. Pull that across. There we go. So I now have my uh, window crossbars here. And obviously, it looks a little bit better than the original one. All right, good. We could keep moving on and we could uh, make this continue to look a little bit better. So maybe, uh, how about if I put like a little image here? Maybe I'll put like a cat in a window, something like that. So I'm going to grab an image here from uh, Google Images. And uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do a quick search. And let's say maybe cat. cat. Uh, let's try this one right here. So I'm going to click that one and select it. There we go. There's my cat. And I'm going to reduce the size of this a little bit. And since uh, I got a lot of the white area on this uh, cat here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to crop some of it out. So I'm going to use my cropping tool. And uh, obviously, maybe we should probably go on over this uh, cropping here a little bit more in some of the uh, earlier classes. But there we go. You see that I have an image of a cat. All righty. So what I'm going to do is slide this uh, cat down here into the window. So we go to a woman here. All right. So now, obviously, I have this cat. But it's uh, in front of the crossbars, which I don't want. So what I need to do, I need to move this cat backwards. And yes, there's a few different ways we can do this. Okay. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on my cat to make it uh, active. And then I'm going to go up here to arrange and order. Now notice uh, right now I currently have two options. Sending, sending it to the back, choosing this one, send backward, uh, would just, or it's just supposed to move it back one object. So it's supposed to just move it back behind just the crossbars. So let's see if that works here. And you can see that it did move it behind the one crossbar. OK, so I'm going to need to click on that again. Arrange, order, send it to the back again. And there you go. You'll notice that it did move behind both crossbars. So I'm just going to make this cat a little bit smaller so we can see it here a little bit better. Little cat there in the window. Yeah, I need to make that a, bit, a tad bit bigger. There we go. I'll zoom this page in a little bit for you guys. There we go. All right. So you can see now the cat is uh, relatively uh, in my window, and it is behind my crossbars. And I just did that by arranging the cat. Okay. There you go. There's my cat. He's in the window. Um, you can see that it's back there. So that makes it nice and easy. Uh, pretty easy uh, opportunity to maneuver this page. Okay. So that's uh, one of our uh, basic features that you can use. How about uh, maybe something, we're going to try something else on this one. So let's say if I take uh, this window here again, so I'm going to copy it, I'm going to paste it again. Let's check out another feature. Uh, this time, instead of putting uh, maybe crossbars, maybe I'll put some curtains on this. So again, I'm going to make these uh, windows a little bit thicker. And I'm going to put some curtains down here on this window. So uh, this time, I'm going to come up here and I'm gonna grab a line. And I'm going to draw with a uh, polyline. So what I'm going to do is going to start up here at the top. And I'm going to draw a polyline. Uh, there. I 
I messed that one up here. You guys can see that. Um, I'm going to try that again. I click once, bring it down. I'm going to take it right into the corner, back up to the top, and join those two together. There you go. Maybe I'll give it a different color. So let's say maybe I'm going to have some crazy looking green curtains. Uh, what I'll do then, I'll get rid of the out exterior line around here. So I'm going to get my line and I'll say transparent. Now you can see that this uh, line here, uh, my curtains here, looks like they're uh, as part of my uh, window there. Set those into place and you can see that I have a decent looking curtain here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to copy it using control C to copy, control V to paste. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to flip this curtain. So they're not both facing in the same direction like you can see here. So uh, we learned this back in part one. So I'm going to go up here to arrange, rotate, and I'm going to flip it horizontally. There you go. I have some curtains there in my window. Obviously, you could dress this up a little bit more just by uh, trimming it up a little bit or adding like another layer around my window frame to cover up any mistakes that I may have. But that's pretty easy to do. Let's say that maybe I want to put like even like a glass look here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this here, paste it again. And maybe this time, instead of, uh, I'm going to place it right on top. And I'm going to put a nice little uh, frame around here again, make it like a nice eight point. But you're going to notice I can't see my curtains anymore. So what I'm going to do with this window, I'm going to make the color transparent. Okay. So I'm going to come up here to my fill color. And this time I'm going to come down to custom. Because remember, it's currently yellow, so I'm going to go into custom. Notice when I get into custom, I have these two little toggles over here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this down a little bit to make that color customized or transparent. Click my OK. And you'll see now that I can see through my window. And I can even place this one over top of that one. So it looks like a window on top. So it gives like a little shade color to it. All right. So that's a transparent color. So it looks like a window. Okay. Not that you can really see it on this one as much. It's probably a little bit easier to see with the with the cat example. As you can see, it looks like a little bit of a window. We always like to use these when we're drawing like glasses or something to the extent to that. So something to think about, you have the opportunity to flip objects. You can make um, shapes and make them transparent to make them look like windows or glasses. So there's a lot of different things you could do here uh, when you begin drawing. So hopefully this helps you out. And uh, again, this will go down as uh, part two, where we can uh, flip some objects as we hopefully learn there, and then also make some objects transparent.